uh, in order to understand the, the mathematics of that a bit more easily so that you can see how that actually works um, this is a, a rectangular hyperbola and so if we have the string length which is the quantitative aspect here we'll talk about quantity and quality it makes it easier and the blue is the quality then if I have a, I have a square here which has a quantitative aspect of one and a qualitative aspect of one so in a sense I got one times one which is one squared okay which is what that is now if I reduce the quantity to a half then automatically the quality is double so I still have one squared, I still have a rectangular, a rectangle with the area of one, so to speak. Or if I reduce uh, the quantity to a third, then uh, the quality is three times. On the other hand, we can flip it the other way, and I reduce the quality to a half, then I've got double the quantity. And so it's, it's a very, very simple math, and it actually represents the relationship between quantity and quality, or, or, or radius and angular velocity, string length and pitch. It's all actually based on music. Uh, Walter Schauberger called the system the tonal order of nature and uh, this is the very simplest diagram and it's really combined with with one spiral diagram this is all you ever need to explain it it's that simple the answer is always one so it's really easy I wish I'd known this when I was learning math but with these energies uh, again the formative um, power of these energies we can see this in the pine cone where we have a certain symmetry but it's what I've called a balanced imbalance because here we have five uh, spirals descending and eight spirals ascending. Uh, the five are male because the, the uneven numbers are associated with maleness because a man can't be divided, whereas uh, female numbers are, are even because they can divide it into mother plus offspring. So they, there's a division, there's a possible division here. Now. So here again, in the, even in the pine cone, we, hear, we see that there are two energies which are interacting. Uh, you've got the female energy, female energy, and the male energy. And where these, where these two energies cross, where they cross each other, where they negate each other, where uh, the male and female come together, that's where the seed is. That's where all the seeds are formed. They're all the seeds are under the places where these two things intersect. So that in, within the length of the pine cone, so to speak, the male energies, if we are uh, looking at it from the point of view of the sun, uh, they are high frequency. They're coming down, so their period of they rotate much more frequently over what you might call the pine cone wavelength, whereas the female energies only go in this instance once. So the, in order for for life to 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 be created, the the the, the male energies have to slow down and the female energies have to speed up, so to speak. So the male has to awaken the female energies and bring them up to a certain energy level. Then the exchange takes place and life is um, created. And so many forms in nature, like the pine cone, um, are based on um, the, the so-called Fibonacci series, all of the proportions of which can be found in the Pentagon, so that uh, uh, the proportions is, is of, of the five five proportion is one uh, is one to one point six one eight zero oh, three three nine eight eight um, and so this if the red is one represents one then the green here B represents point uh, six one eight I'll just keep it short or if this is the red then the green is the same so the whole of the the pentagon is is loaded as it were with um, uh, with Fibonacci proportions of the golden section. Um, and if you transfer this into terms of the balance of life, uh, uh, about because you see, life cannot occur if everything's the same, if it's static. There has to be a state of balance which is quite labile, or that is sort of unstable. Now, here we see, using the same phi proportions, uh, that a weight uh, of 1.618 having a certain distance away from this central pivot which is actually 0.618 uh, and another weight of one with a distance of one away from this pivot then actually are in a state of balance because of the forces, the resolution of the forces and when they both, uh, you take them both together uh, then they have a value of 2.618 which is actually 1.618 squared it's the most amazing number this um, so you have this dynamic balance, and this is necessary. This is, this is the, the position between the extremes and the mean. 
and um, it's always in, in a, um, a state of adjustment, constant readjustment, because at every moment something is slightly different, so you have to adjust all the time. So what, what appears to us, for instance, to be a state of rest is actually an extremely high uh, state of energy. I suppose a way that you could explain it is if, if you take a guitar string and you twang it, then firstly it moves from one side to the other. But as, this, as it uh, comes to rest, as it were, then the movement comes faster and faster until finally it stops. But you don't know whether in fact it's not going even faster and faster when it apparently has, is, is still. You follow what I mean? Um, so this, again, this dynamic balance of fires, it's like the tightrope walker, because if evolution is a, is a progressive movement, I have to be in balance before I can move forward. And if I'm a tightrope walker walking on, I've got to make sure I'm in balance before I can put the next foot forward. If I'm doing this or the other thing, there's no way that I'm going to move forward at all. So again, it's this movement, this, this centering, um, this, this, this mean position between two extremes. And Victor attacked uh, an, an awful lot of importance to uh, the Fibonacci series and to the Pentagon because he said it was important for creating what he called the cosmic egg. And he didn't actually describe how this was done, but uh, the cosmic egg, in this, if this is the cosmic egg, can be created by putting pins in these intersections of the, the inner part of the Pentagon, uh, one pin here, which is, a, is the same radius taken from the center as that one, and another pin at the bottom, and a loop of string around them, and then you can actually draw an egg shape uh, because the curvature here is different from the curvature at the top. Uh, eventually we come back to the mathematics of, um, of the egg a little later on. This, uh, the Fibonacci again, can be used to, to determine various leaf forms so that you have a proportion of 1 to 1.618, 1 to 1.618 and so on. And depending on the angle between them, uh, then depends on what sort of leaf shape you can get out of it, a small one, a large one. I mean, these are the very simplest things, or in terms of uh, um, you know, the, the evolution of spirals or shells, like the Nautilus shell again, uh, you have um, 1 to 1.618, or 1 to 1.618. It depends again on the angle at which you progress from one part of the proportion to the next, whether it, it, you have a, a spiral which goes out quite quickly or, or one which goes out quite slowly.